Shumai, what is happening? Chris here and welcome to another video. This episode or this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, one of our sponsors product. Our podcast is sponsored by Electrum and they brought out a protective dermal armor called Dermo. Now, prior to using this, I used to use Dermalize all the time and then I started getting a lot of issues with it and I was chatting to Rob and Rob actually mentioned this to me way before they became a channel sponsor. But obviously with transparency and everything, I just wanna let you guys know that even though I'm not getting paid to make this video, he is a sponsor of our channel and I do get this stuff free of charge. So right, we'll be getting straight into this after the intro anyway. <laughs> Dermo is a protective dermal bandage. Its main and only real purpose is to protect your tattoo during the healing process. Now you're probably thinking, Chris, there are many films out there. Why should I choose this? And what is the difference? And you would be right in thinking that there are many and why should you do this and why should you do that? So what makes this product different to the others? I was researching a video on barrier films way before I started this um, that tattoo show with Paul. And when I was researching it, I discovered or what I learned from my research was that most of, if not all of the films that are made are basically made by the same company in China. There are a handful of manufacturers they're like less than a handful actually I think um, as an example Saniderm and Dermalize are both made by a company called Chinmed you can find them on Aliexpress and uh, I even got them to send me some samples there we go of their films and also that actually ends the argument you know, is Saniderm better than Dermalize no because they're the same so one example then of how Dermo will differ from all the other ones or from some of the main competitors is according to Rob Dermo is actually made by a different manufacturer so this stuff is not made by the same company that makes the other brands which is the brands that I've been having issues with the previous brand I was using I found started causing issues I feel like the glue was causing far more irritations to people and leaving like this weird fucking gel type residue on the skin so I would say I think like the first real difference like no the real real difference that I've noticed and my clients have all noticed kind of switching over to Dermo is that Dermo is far more hypoallergenic than some of the other brands that are out there and that I've been using as well and using on my clients. They've all come back and said it feels a lot better. Now, regarding the glue, there is enough glue on the Dermo that it sticks to the skin, but it's not too much that when you take it off, you're left with this weird residue when you remove it. You know, I was having clients coming in and they were complaining that when they would take the other film off, there was just a layer of glue just still left and sometimes it was weird and jelly, it was strange. But each client that initially did complain about the allergies and all these different weird effects about the other film, have all come back and they've given me great feedback saying that there is no more irritation from the film and they have no more issues at all. Um, but I will say as hypoallergenic as it is, there still may be some people who may or will have a reaction to it. You know, you can be as hypoallergenic as you want, but they're still going to have issues time to time. Now, one thing I really like about this film is it has a matte finish. I love the fact that it's got a matte finish rather than a completely clear. And all my clients have said that they love that also. Now, I think the exact words, uh, yeah, I think the exact words one of my clients said was, it's so much easier to see where I've placed it 
or where I've placed the film uh, and I don't miss any kind of areas. Like obviously if you're used to using it, like as a tattooist and used to putting on people, you kind of know where it is, you overlap it and everything, but sometimes clients, they don't understand that, they, they're not used to it. So having a matte finish, it's easier for them to see. I, I, I think it's great. I've given up multiple roles to clients and so far I've not had a single kind of negative comment come back at all. Not, nobody said anything bad. Everything has been good so far. Now, I recently started a piece on, well, I, rec I recently started working on the basis for a band called Kill the Lights. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, awesome band. Um, it was the first time that he's ever used that film alongside Mamba Glide. You know, he came back after his first session and he said it was com a completely different sort of healing experience. And uh, yeah, you couldn't believe how well his tattoo healed using the film and the cream. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I've done a little video on the Mamba Glide, you haven't seen it, check it out, it's on our channel. Now, I've even used it on myself multiple times and I genuinely feel like it just does the job well. It heals the tattoos, I don't have any irritation, I don't have any, any issues with it at all. So we need to get to the pricing now. The pricing of Dermo is start at $34.99. We're looking at it's approximately £26.48. It does come in 6 inches by 11 yards, 8 inches by 11 yards, 10 inches by 11 yard rolls. The film, it is latex free, it is breathable and it is waterproof. Now, as waterproof as it is, I wouldn't recommend you go swimming. But, you know, you should be able to shower and stuff as normal and the film should stay on there. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's basically a film that does exactly what it says in the tin. It protects your tattoo while healing, and for me, is the one that I've had the least amount of issues with. It's a great product. I enjoy using it. My clients enjoy using it. Currently, it's available via the Electrum website. But I do hope that someone like Bob DTS, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, snaps it up because I feel like this film is a great product and I think that it would do well in the UK slash European market considering from what Robert said, a lot of people in the UK are buying it directly from him. All the positives about this, the only real negative about this film that I have, I just feel like because there's so many on the market, if you, you want to be kind of affordable and you want to be able to be competitive. So I feel like, and plus after doing my research, I know like how much this stuff costs to make. So I genuinely feel like as a product, 27 pound is a lot for stuff like this. But that being said, you know, what is, you know, what is the cost on a good aftercare? But yeah, I feel like maybe 20, I'm looking over there because it's beer. I feel like, yeah, I don't know, like 27 pound, I would say more like, I think, I feel like, I feel like if this was around about the 22 to the 24 pound market, it would do really well in the UK market. But that's just my opinion. I'd still buy it at £27 because I was buying the other stuff at 27 quid or whatever it was or 29 quid or whatever it was for a very long time. So there we go. If it's not your first choice, make sure it is your definitely your second choice of aftercare. It's a great product. I enjoy using it. And I'm not saying this because I'm getting paid or anything. I'm not getting paid. I'm saying it because I genuinely use it. Um, I only use and recommend products that I really like and this is definitely one of them. So yeah, there we go. I hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you have... Uh, I will, yeah, hit like, hit subscribe and all that. Pop a comment below if you've got any questions and I'll hopefully answer them for you. So there we go, that's me done. Dioch and Hoyl Vaur. And if you want to know what that is, that's thanks and goodbye in uh, Angamrag. So take it easy.